If you are into 3D animation but you don't know how to create your own characters or scenes or props because you don't know anything about uh, 3D sculpting or modeling, well, this video is for you, so stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel. The channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation. And if that is you, welcome. You are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell. So that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. And if you are new to animation and you want to start out with 3D animation or even 2D animation. And you think that is going to cost you a lot of money. Well, I've got some great news for you. I've got a free list um, that I want to give to you absolutely free and it's a list of software um, that is actually free to use and it's from 2d animation 3d animation script writing storyboarding um, audio recording and mixing and video editing everything that you will need to create animations it is a list of freeware software so it's not pirated copies um, it is actually software that is available free for the public to download so I've compiled this list and uh, I'm, I've made it available absolutely free. So if you want this list, just click in the description box below. There's a link and I will send that list to you. So finances won't be a problem for you. You can actually start animating today. And that's why I call this YouTube channel Start Animating. Now today we are going to look at how you can create your own characters. Now I'm going to go over the next few weeks. I'm going to do a whole series of um, creating your own characters and props and scenes and also building up a library of clothing and props etc so that you can later on build your own scenes um, so basically what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how you can create your own characters very simple now the first thing that you need uh, is the software so the software I'm gonna use is um, Daz 3D and that is where I get my characters and my clothing and the different styles of characters and then um, for my character creation I will import everything from Daz 3D into um, Character Creator 3 that is a software that I use because I use iClone to do my animation <coughs> Excuse me, and Character Creator 3 is actually like an add-on. It's a different software, but it's created by Reillusion, same company that um, creates iClone. So if you want to create characters for iClone, you use Character Creator 3. So basically, I've got both, and then I just import my characters from Character Creator that I've completed, completed there into iClone and then I can start animating and if you want to learn more about iClone or if you are new to 3D animation and you don't know what software to use I do recommend iClone and I have a video here that you can go check out why I highly recommend iClone but as you will see today it's also very easy to create awesome looking characters now like I've mentioned the first thing you'll need is Daz 3D it's a free software so just go to Daz3D.com and go and download the software and make sure you also download um, Daz Central and then also the install manager so what will happen is you will go onto Daz 3D you'll purchase everything um, that you'll need from characters or clothing or whatever um, as you'll see in this video and then install manager is it will install everything that you've purchased and then with Daz Central is basically that is your whole library of everything that you've purchased and you can easily just click on something and it will open it up in Daz 3D. So let me quickly show you. Um, here is Daz 3D. So here um, there's a lot of things that you can purchase. Uh, let's say you on shop and let's click on people and wearables. And what I like to do is I click on tunes and there you'll see there's a lot of great content that you can purchase whatever you need for your software or for your animation and then you can basically um, start so once you've purchased it it will be you'll need to install it through your install manager and then it will be in your DAS central um, so as you can see here this is my DAS central and here is everything that I've purchased in the past I have purchased a lot of stuff especially on Black Fridays make sure you tune in or visit Daz 3D every single day they've got specials every single day 
and they've got like March Madness where you can purchase stuff for $3. Um, sometimes uh, you can purchase stuff for $2. So make sure you check in every single day for great specials. And after a while, you will see you just have so many things that you can go and create some awesome characters and scenes etc so here is my dash central everything that i've purchased now we want to create a character so i think let's start off with this tune princess for genesis 8 okay so if i'm gonna press open now it will basically open up my um let's click here and there it is um, if I click there, finish, I double click, and then I can go to figures, people, double click, and so you will see it actually shows you, shows you where that is through your Dash Central, and it's just so easy to upload. I double clicked it, and here is the character, and if you want to pan around this box here at the top, you can drag, drag around and uh, you can have a look at your character so let's go to quickly let's change the eye color and we click on eyes eye color and let's make it blue so make sure you select um, the character you will see it's it will now be inside a box if it's not selected that box doesn't show and then I just double click on the blue and there it opens and there's a character now you can also adjust the character a little bit um, inside um, Dash 3D. Let me show you another thing that you can do. You can see here I've purchased the Face Morph Collection. So if, if I'm going to open it, then I can actually use, um, I can actually then go and adjust the face of my character. But for argument's sake, let's say I'm happy. Um, there's so many things you can do, but now let's add some clothing okay so the, we now have our base character now i can go through all the clothing that i've purchased in the past um, so you can see i have purchased quite a lot of things in the past and a lot of things i actually got for free they also have free stuff to download every now and then and so i actually got a lot of um, these things for free um, so i like this let's this retroactive outfit so let's click on open again it will show you exactly where it is and we double click and so um, let's click on wardrobe pants um, my character is selected as you can see it's not selected now now it's selected if I double click the pants there she has her pants on and then if I want to change the pants maybe to something else I can click on material and I can select the pants and add let's say we make it black and there's it black but I don't like that let's try this other color I like this light color okay so now let's go back to shirt and we select our character again double click shirt there you go and let's see have a look how it looks i like that but let's see if we can't maybe perhaps um uh, can we do okay there it stopped okay and let's see if we can't get another look and feel to it double click that one or let's say this one okay let's let's use this one okay so now I've got my character but now she has no shoes um, let, let's leave the shoes and the hair for cartoon animator uh, or character creator um, because I want to show you that you can actually use both because you can also go to iClone or character creator um, on their website, on the Reillusion website, they also have a marketplace. So you can actually purchase clothing and hair there. I like the hair that you find there because it's already um, set correctly. The weight of the hair is set. So if you wanted to wave, everything is set. Where if you purchase hair on Dash 3D, you have to um, manually create the weight of the hair so that it can wave when you animate it. So I normally like to purchase hair from the Reillusion marketplace and that's what I'm going to show you now. So let's say I'm happy with this character. I think it looks pretty cool. Again, you can do a lot of adjustments with 
your character inside Daz, but also inside Cartoon uh, Character Creator. But I'm happy. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to get it in the correct pose. And if you install Character Creator 3, um, it does come with this folder with the different sets of poses. And I want to make sure that I select the A pose for um, the G8 female. And then what I do is I drag it on top of my first thing. I need to select the character. And then I, uh, wrong button, then I drag my A pose on top of the character. And there you go. Okay, so there it is. And let's, now it is ready to export. Okay, so again, my character selected and then I go and export and let's go to um, where's, yeah, desktop and I did create a folder for this uh, if I can video sample and let's call this lady <laughs> and we save okay now this is very important you need to make sure that um, you select the correct things here. So this is a figure. Um, so that is um, clicked. And everything here should be yes. Okay. So everything looks perfect. And then I can click accept. And then it will export my character. Okay. And obviously I know exactly in what folder I um exported it and now it is done okay my character is finished now i can go to um to char um, character creator 3 and now i can import this character okay so let's quickly do that and here i've got character creator 3 open and now i want to import my character my das 3d character into um, character creator now character creator made it very easy to link up with das 3d and what i need to do is i just need to search for the um for the transform um tool if i can find it transformer there it is and I want to select CC3 Plus. That's the latest version. And now I can just go and search for my character, Lady. And now it will import this character. And the first thing it needs to do is this. You will also see there's just a few things I will need to select um, before it continues. A few settings. And then it will import the character so I want to say advanced and then there's a few things I need to select that you will see and then it will import the character here it is okay so what I want to do is bake body texture I like you can select if you want great quality you can go for 4000 but for this um, quality purposes because I'm also screen capturing so just to save on resources, I'm going to keep it on a thousand. And then pants is cloth, so you need to select, like you can see, if it's if you're importing shoes or gloves, accessories, hair, etc. Um, so the top and the pants are both cloth. The layers, it needs to be on separate layers. And then here you can also select what, um, but I'm going to keep it on a thousand as well. And then I can say OK. And now it will import this character. OK, so I'm going to fast forward this quickly. This will take quite a while. And then uh, once it's imported, we can quickly have a look at how it, um, how it looks. OK, so my character is inside um, Character Creator. And now we can just have a look at what the character looks like. And I think as you can see, it looks quite awesome so if you want to make some changes you can click here and then you can actually see that there's a lot of settings here and you can really customize your character quite a lot um, but 
what I want to do is I want to add some hair to this character and so let's click on hair um, I have actually purchased quite a few so let's see um, so let's drag this on top of my character and now I've added some hair to this character and look how awesome this looks okay and then um, if you can see there are some areas that sticks out so there are ways that you can fix that so let's select the pants um, I need to pants and then conform there you go so there are ways that you can just adjust uh, adjust it you can also just um, use your mesh and you can fix that as well but for now let's just leave it as it is and there is your character imported and you can make some more changes so for instance if we um, let's just minimize everything here and we let's say with the head let's click on the eyes so now I can make some more adjustments okay so let's zoom in closer and now I can make more adjustments to this character I scale make it smaller bigger <laughs> So as you can see, you can actually make more changes inside um, Character Creator and or cartoon or your yeah, Character Creator. And then once you're done, you can actually um, click. Let me show you this on um, Send Character to iClone. So if you are happy with your character, you click on that button. iClone will open and your character will be inside iClone ready to be animated and that is how easy it is to create a character but before I finish um, I said I want to add some shoes um, so let's click there I've got some custom ones um, shoes okay let's go to this template um, shoes let's see what's here Um, let's see what shoes are here there's some nice shoes here so let's give her let's give her these boots okay double click and there are the boots already added on top of it so um, as you can see it is very easy to create awesome looking characters um, using um, Daz 3D as well as C Character Creator 3 in combination to create great looking characters. Now in the next uh, video I'm going to show you how you can create your very own scenes exactly the same way but there's just a different route that you'll need to take but with this and uh, next week's video you will have all the tools to have great characters and great scenes and you can then actually go and create your very own 3D animations. And maybe you, you can create your own short film or feature film. So guys, that is it for me. I can't wait to see you next week. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell. So that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. So from me, God bless and happy animating.